utilises the space left by Mameti. G into Ojo. Three to aim for. Rolls might get on the end of it, you know. Oh, it's a good cut back as well. Taken off the toes of Wickham by Cabot in the end. Nice ball, Jaden Finnegy, Joe Rawls coming in on the other side. And that's what we're going to have to see, that cross-field play. Keeper eight. Didn't win the first header cleanly. Battles with Mametti. Spins away from Scott, but gives the ball away to Joe Williams. We'll have a dig. Well, he wasn't intending that. Well, the header from Sykes is off target. Been in goal-scoring form of late. Good from Sawyers to turn away from trouble. Oh, good body positioning from Shea Ojo. Still going. That's a decent save from O'Leary. It had to be. And a decent bit of clearing up as well from Thomas Callas. Because sorry, Cabo was steaming in for the follow-up. Yeah, really nice from Romain Sawyers here. Turns under pressure and feeds it through eventually to Ojo. And nice idea from Shea. A lot of space over on that left side for Cardiff City at the moment. Obviously, Joe Rawls playing out of position, but Bristol seem happy to leave him over there. It was a slightly heavy touch from Shea, and yes, they lost him on that corner of the six-yard yeah. six yard box, but beggars can't be choosers. Mark McGuinness filling the role. It's over the head of him. Oh, Wickham will get it back. Can he cross? No. Be Wintle. That's an unconvincing clearance from Viner. Really He's done really well. He's done magnificently well to keep that in play. And a lovely ball to find Sawyers. Oh, good block. Matty James. Cardiff worked the angles really nicely there. Oh, good work from Philogene again. Oh, then again well read from Jameson now. Bristol City have a chance to counter. Blue jersey scurrying back. Sykes. Oh, he's picked out Scott, cleared off the line, Mametti saved by Alsop. Hurt himself, Ryan Alsop. How about that for a piece of goalkeeping? Great defending from Keeper to get back on the line. Lightning quick transition from Bristol City. A great ball from Sykes to pick out Scott at the back post. And it's just wonderful bravery from Ryan Alsop. If he doesn't make it, there's two bodies on the line. NG coming back across, McGuinness from the other direction. Three of them. Three of them in position. I just wonder Hurling themselves at the feet. Where's it hit Ryan Alsop and caused him to be in discomfort? On his haunches. At the moment. I think it's squarely in the... Sawyers and Wintle have combined really nicely. And once again in the middle of the park. Lovely chest control from Ojo. Takes James out of it. In James had to work to get back involved. Oh, Joe again, one on one with James. His tail's up, isn't it? Shea Sawyer's deflected back to Ojo. This is where you talk about Ojo's run needs to come round and take up this space where Joe Rawls maybe isn't going to. It's a bit of luck. Ojo to Philogene. Footed shot is blocked. Oh, Philogene again working hard. Wickham gets underneath the effort. It's scooped high and wide, but Jaden Philogene's work rate just causing problems at the moment. Yeah, even off the ball, we know what he's like as a defensive winger, but here straight onto that press to win it back. Busy presence. Just a shame Connor Wickham can't drag it on target. What Matty James is. Sykes, who's cross, picked out Scott for the earlier opportunity. Headed away by Sawyers. Pring again. Left back popping up in midfield. Sykes, space. Still space. Eventually closed down by Wintle. Way to get the cross off. It's awkward for Allsop. Hacked away. By Cedric Keeper. I think it's come off the bar, Ash. Oh, great work, Jaden. Still going, Philogene. 
That's a lovely ball as well to find Cabot. Needs an option wide, he's got it in rolls. Block will go for the corner. Good sliding tackle from Viner, but Cardiff will take that set-piece opportunity. Yeah, it's quick play, it's good, quick counter-attacking from the Bluebirds. Jake Filigin at the heart of it once again. This ball, I think it is the crossbar. A little bit of hesitancy, perhaps, between Wintle and Rawls about who should go and who should stay over in that far corner. A little bit too easy for Bristol to carry the ball forward and then deliver a cross. The captain to take. Wickham and McGuinness. McGuinness on the head. Comfortable for O'Leary. And I can't tell. Would have made it a bit of a non contest, but thankfully we haven't got that. And I would have taken an early Cardiff goal. Yeah. It was Pring. Forced onto his weaker right foot again. Vyman stumbles over possession a little bit. And they're happy for Pring to go wandering infield, aren't they, on, the, on his right? Here's Sykes again. Roll sticks to his task decently enough. That's a good ball, though, to pick out Bell. It's awkward for Allsop. It was Vyman in there hunting, and Allsop's gone to ground. And we'll get the free kick out of it. It's that deep cross again. Yeah. Well, Vyman's got to go for it. So, bouncing ball in the six yard box. Cross from Sykes. This time it's Bell, not Scott. It's, it's very, very similar scenario to the goal line clearance ten minutes or so ago. And also just takes a bit of a, a clout from um, Andres Vyman. Knew nothing about it. I think it's his trailing arm has caught him. Tanner allowed to carry too far for Cardiff's liking again. Side sidesteps Wickham. Byman back out to Tanner. Time to pick his cross. Headed away by Keep Ray. Helped on his way by Philogene. Might drop to Scott. Bit of a wild lash at it in the end. Two Bristol would be energetic in the second half, and they were at the start of the first. It's good work from Wickham. Cabo runs into trouble and then turns away from Scott. Scott asks him, "What more could I do?" Cabo has gone to ground, holding his face. Not again. It's Connor Wickham, Cedric Gipre all up there too. I wonder if it'll go along all the way to Jaden Philogene. On the head of Cabot. Square for Ojo. Back to Rolls. Haven't stayed forward. It's a peach of a ball to pick up Philogene this time. Keeper he clears out for him. Philogene looking for Cabot. Brought down by Wintle. Philogene gets a call from the Cardiff fans on the far side. Or oh, Cavalini in back yes! and scores. It's a belting cross, it's a better finish. Just angles his body and uses the pace of the ball to pick out the top corner. You can't draw it up any better than that, Cardiff lead. Just thought that there was a little bit too much on that ball, but what did we just say about sorry Cabba? Just when you think the chance is gone, he manages to hook it in, and that's exactly what he's done here. Perfect delivery from Wintle, that's a superb header. Falling backwards, composure and direction from Cabba, and that's a huge goal in the context of this game. That's an undefendable ball in. It's got so much pace and whip on it. First time the Bluebirds have been at home against Bristol, ahead at home against Bristol City since February 2018. Is there a foul there? There is. Rolls with the foul on Alex Scott in the D. You have to say it's a lovely area to strike the ball from. Mametti to take. There's a gap in the wall. Mametti up and over. 
and turned away by Ryan Alsop. We felt like the game needed a goal, and thank goodness it's gone Cardiff's way. You said it was just waiting to open up, waiting to erupt, and now it has. Good response from Bristol there. Side ball. Or oh, Miramotta putting pressure on Pring and Philogene again, ball hunting. He's done it all afternoon, done it really well. Pring looking to bring Sykes into play. It's horribly under hit though, and Ojo will just bring it down. First touch for Odauda. Into space into Wickham it's nicely done Sawyers it's two options wide Rinamotta to Philogene Philogene onto his left oh and scores O'Leary unsighted Cardiff delirious 21 minutes to play Cardiff lead 2-0 And Philogene's plays deserved that this afternoon. It's been a constant menace on that far side. He's been brilliant, hasn't he? Both ends going forward at the back. And what we just said about the conversation, where this midfield three is going to sit. Andy Rinomoto's pushed wide right, and he's occupying two defenders. He lets Jaden Philogene go wide. They can't touch him. He's coming inside to have that shot. Great little tactical adjustment from Sabri and a fine finish from Jaden too. So this is his last chance. So if you do want to put Isaac on maybe for a bit of pace on the counter for Ojo, they would have to happen in conjunction with any other move. That's good from Wickham. Shields the ball nicely. Lovely ball to Ojo. He's in. Oh, that's a good piece of goalkeeping from O'Leary. Rinamotta. Nobody wide on this near side. That's an under-hit ball from Wickham. Allow Scott to carry the ball away. In behind to Mametti. Oh, Keep Ray has hurled himself at the feet of Mametti and done enough to just put the youngster off. Hope he's all right, Cedric. He's stayed down. Groin, I think, he's alluding to. Maybe just overstretched. Yeah, not another injury. It's not what the Bluebirds need, but... It's dedication. a great ball from Scott. Maddy James looking for Wells glancing header Mamedi still can't find any space though closed down by Perry and G and Rinna Motta the former dispossesses him Alex Scott back in the ball that's a lovely scooped pass for Wells Side. but the offside flag is up well, Scott's quality has been the only real source of concern, isn't it, for Cardiff this afternoon? It's that individual quality that he does possess. He's been very well marshalled by the Bluebirds midfield all afternoon. I think on the pitch and off the pitch, if that makes sense, the boys have done brilliantly out there, but those tweaks that we've talked about throughout, just to kind of limit his ability and drop him into that deeper position. Injuries as well for Bristol City yeah. haven't helped, but it's been a, a good performance and certainly kept him quiet that's a good spot from Philogene to pick out Wintle Wintle <laughs> Cole will get out of the way for him Sawyers back to Wintle Cole will lay off to a tete might shoot Keon does not far off So, ooh, might have to get involved again here. Oh. Uh-oh. I think Ryan Ossoff's in trouble here. And we don't have any more subs. So someone is going in net for six minutes. Perry and G saying he wants to go in. He's probably our shortest player, so maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Perry, Perry's happy to. To be fair, Perry's the type of character that uh, will have a go at anything, won't he? Exactly, yeah. Well, Alsop is adamant that he 
was worn in on the chest and nice. there was no hands involved. We'll see it better from this angle. He didn't need to get involved. It looks like there's a hand there. Well, somebody sound the outfield player in goal, Claxon. He does. It's through the wall, takes a deflection. And will be a corner. Well, Philly Jean. Oh, saved by Perry and G. Little glancing header from Wells. Straight down the throat <laughs> of the most versatile man in Cardiff. Right back, centre back goalkeeper. Free kicks. Free kick it. specialist. He'll do it. Good shot. Touchwood that gets us three points and a derby win here. High hanging ball, O'Dowders does well. Sykes back in, takes a glancing blow. Philogy needs to get there, invariably does. And there's a whistle, a puff of the cheeks from all involved, Cardiff City have brought to an end a run of three straight home defeats in seven side derbies with a 2-0 victory over Bristol City. Goals from Sorry Cabba with a pin-perfect header and Jaden Philogene squeezing a shot in low at the near post.